Hey folks, it's Fernando doing a short video for the more survivalists. Guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining a few important things that you definitely should know, so please have patience and stick around. In my previous video it was 10 items you want to have during a disaster. One of those items was a cell phone. I was ex explaining that it's a fantastic piece of technology, allows you to make phone calls, go online with smartphones, send text messages, and um, use Wi-Fi hotspots and such. So it's one of those things that you want to have during a disaster. Now, quickly, people pointed out during that during certain disasters and and, and emergencies, cell phones uh, may not be working. The network may be oversaturated, like it happened in the Boston bombing in Katrina. Everyone tries to make phone calls at the same time, so it stops working. Even though that is true to uh, um, a degree, at least for some period of time, in many cases you are still able to send text messages and such. So I still think it is indeed a great idea to have one. doesn't mean that because of a, a momentarily problem with the network you shouldn't have one. I still think you should. And I was also explaining that one of the greatest assets I find in a cell phone is the ability to listen to FM radio. Now here is where immediately people started pointing out, well, I don't know about your neck of the woods, one guy was saying, but here most, uh, most, most of the latest uh, smartphones and such don't have FM radios. Um, well, my neck of the woods is Europe, so I'm not in Mars, and my phone does have it. This is a, uh, a Galaxy uh, Note 2, it's not the latest, but uh, Note 3, Note 4 still have FM radios. And I'm going to be showing you exactly what I mean by this. In my phone, it's already, I already um, blocked um, uh, Wi-Fi and, and data usage, so this is the phone as it would be during uh, an actual emergency where nothing is, is working. I would just go here and show you guys in the little app that I have there it says radio click on the radio button there and I have the radio I click on this one and I get a little message that says earphones not connected earphones work as a radio antenna connect earphones right that's why remember my EDC videos I always keep in this uh, pouch uh, that I have with my with my house keys. I keep a head uh, a set of, of headphones for this specific reason, right? This is the one that I keep for emergencies. This is the one that I actually end up using most of the day around the house and such. So you just do as the little message there kindly explained. You connect that, <laughs> and going back into the phone, you turn the radio on. And you have you have a radio. It just works like a normal FM radio receiver. You can actually adjust it by hand, or you can use the the scanner. All right. You can even if there's something that you like, you can even record the songs that you like or the messages, if this is an emergency and there's a, uh, um, a message being, being said, you can even record it, clicking there, it starts recording whatever is on the radio. So this is a, a huge asset to have, no doubt. Now why is it that this is available in phones like mine and not in phones uh, that some people may have? The thing is this, for all phones, folks, all phones pretty much new ones, uh, old ones, new ones, all, especially the latest ones, all smartphones pretty much have built-in FM radio receivers. All of them. iPhones, Samsung, they all have it. They all have that capability. The thing is that in American cell phones that capability is blocked. Even though it's there in hardware, it's blocked on purpose. Why is that? Well, basically two reasons. First of all, the, uh, the service providers want you to use their data. They want you to use their uh, their bandwidth, their internet connection, so as to charge you for it. So if you don't have your FM radio receiver, which is completely free to use, you're basically forced to use the service that they provide. And according to the different plans that you have, uh, you are basically in one way or another paying so as to stream radio through the internet. Besides that, most people in the United States have iPhones, and as you know, with iPhones, there's this thing that's called iTunes. I, the iTunes store basically sells you music, and if you have music for free on your FM radio, and especially if you can record it as you just saw, then it's not really a good business for them. They would be ending up losing millions of dollars each month if people had their FM radios available. 
Uh, unfortunately, so that's the way it is for in the United States for most um, for most phones. Uh, but for um, pretty much in the rest of the world, that's not the way it works. So with international models, you don't have that that problem. Now, there's already an initiative, you may be already maybe a little bit upset about knowing this, there's an, an initiative called, it's, the website is called freeradioonmyphone.org, I'm going to be leaving the link guys there below for you guys to check it out, uh, which is already a campaign so as to um, get the voice uh, out there and m make yourselves heard complaining about uh, this, uh, this problem with, with, with your phones. I suggest you visit the link and get active. It's actually something that you can do something about it. So take a, a, a few a few minutes and actually uh, complain to your network. Visit freeradioonmyphone.org and see what you can actually actually do so as to change this. Uh, as it's explaining the website, it's actually a, a public safety matter because uh, as I'm explaining and everyone uh, with common sense knows that an FM radio during an emergency is a is an important way so as to know what people should be doing and such. It's a, it's a matter of, of of a public safety. Now, it's not for all phones. Even though most companies do this in the United States, there are a couple that are not doing it. With HTC and with Motorola, these companies, they don't block the FM receiver in your phone. That's great. So if you're looking about getting a new phone, the Moto G, which is a phone that I really like for a few things, is very affordable. It's one of the cheapest smartphones around. It's a great smartphone, very powerful hardware, great screen. It's also also waterproof and you have your uh, FM radio built in there you can use the latest Android which is much better than uh, than Apple uh, iPhone anyway so the Moto G would be the phone that I recommend if you're looking to get one with an FM radio uh, receiver I'm gonna be leaving the link for the Moto G and Amazon as well there below folks again go to free radio on my and get active you know do something about it and please folks share this video with as many people as possible so as to get the voice out there and let people know that they do have an FM receiver in their phone in their smartphone it's just blocks so as uh, so, so that some people can make, make a little bit more money um, for themselves guys that's gonna be all for now take care have a great day see you on our next video